All right, I want to do a, another quick math puzzle video here. Um, this one is uh, one that I just recently spotted on um, on uh, Facebook. It's a really easy one here. It's 50 plus 50 times 0 equals. Um, and again, we'll r run through really quick order of operations. I have some other videos that do that better, but... Uh, um, Basically, this problem is solved through order of operations, and it's a convention that allows people all over all over the world to get the same answer to a problem. And it's uh, there's a structure of this convention that's been developed and started around the 16th century. Uh, there's a lot of confusion and wrong assumptions about the use of order of operations. Uh, it's known by many different mnemonics and acronyms. A lot of the different ones that I'm familiar with are PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, and uh, BIDMAS. Uh, typically in North America, a lot of people might remember PEMDAS or perhaps the acronym, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, but all these different mnemonics and acronyms, they all refer to the very same order of operations rules. And they apply in all situations, not just algebra and not just when there's parentheses or brackets. Uh, they apply all the time. So. Uh, the convention works as follows. You first look for parentheses. Uh, if you don't have any, you move on to exponents. Uh, then it's multiplication or division left to right. And then addition or subtraction left to right. Uh, now, you got to remember that multiplication and division have equal precedence. So you're solving left to right. If division is to the left, you do it first. Multiplication, do it first. So... Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people get confused when they memorize PEMDAS and they think multiplication comes before division. And people who learn BODMAS believe that division comes before multiplication. Uh, and that's one of the reasons I don't like the mnemonics because people memorize, you know, the order of six letters and they forget that order of operations is only four steps. So, uh, you know, back to the looking at this problem. So. Uh, you know, per order of operations, we don't have any parentheses or exponents. Uh, the very next operation is multiplication. So the first step in this problem is to multiply 50 times 0. And if you should all know that any number divided by any number multiplied by 0 equals 0. Uh, so then your next operation is addition. It's 50 plus 0 equals 50. Uh, now, this is really easily checked on a scientific calculator. Uh, if you have a, c a calculator on your computer, a lot of times it's going to be defaulted for scientific, uh, for a standard mode. Uh, you need to switch it over to scientific because uh, the standard calculator can only do one operation at a time. It can't uh, do uh, multiple operations before hitting the equal sign. Uh, you know, basically, if you use a standard calculator or like even a cheap dollar store calculator, they can only do one operation. You can add a couple numbers, you can multiply a couple numbers, but you can't do things where you've got, you know, a long uh, amount of uh, things where you're, you're adding, you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing all in one uh, expression. So uh, make sure it's on scientific. You can also, if you got an Android or iPhone, they have built-in calculators, but you can verify that, you know, 50 plus 50 times 0 is 50, and that's the answer that you get if you use a scientific calculator. Uh, and the reason is that most most scientific calculators, they're already programmed for order of operation. So, anyhow, I hope this video was helpful. Uh, there's lots of good resources. I have a few uh, links to resources um, and some other videos that will uh, help you understand a little bit more about order of operations.